A new look at the security system and dedicated servers on console go bye bye. Your arch kids, it's Rask Clark, and welcome to your regular art community news. Before we begin, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, share around, and let's get into it. So, no new image for Genesis Part 2 was dropped last night. And I've got a feeling why, but I'll get to that in just a moment. However, I'm going to give you my take on a particular structure that certainly deserves more attention. The remote camera security system. And how ridiculous this might be. I covered this way back in the extra live stream, where the devs went on record to say, secure your base with the remote camera security system. Issue commands, view and communicate all from a remote location. Now I somewhat overlooked this at the time, in particular the word commands, where I've since read on the wiki page that this thing is able to remotely interact with structures and creatures. Now of course we can see in the concept work various dots placed around a map. So is this terminal going to be able to remotely control any camera across the entire map and at the same time remotely interact with structures and creatures? Cast your minds back to a picture that was teased by Jeremy, the co-founder of Wildcard, where I since believed this was going to be operated by the mech you unlock in the map, giving some aerial view able to RTS move your creatures around. Well perhaps this is what you can do with the camera, able to whistle and move creatures around, only of course if they're in your field of view. And how deep is structure interaction going to be? The potential for this could be limitless, able to tell structures to do certain things, whether it's opening doors, activating turrets, or dare I say, place structures. It can't be that OP surely. But the security system is going to be a great addition to the base alarm system meta where I believe this is going to take features from previous structures and implement them into this, whereby you'll be given a direct feed that may look similar to a scout. Starting out with a tripwire that was released way back in version 186, this was our first opportunity at an alarm system that would of course let out a loud ring if anyone tripped it and the devs even went as far as creating custom alarm notifications via their website whereby if one was tripped you would get an email notification that was of course on PC only though but then of course was succeeded by the Parasaur whereby in turret mode has the opportunity to detect any enemies wild or otherwise certainly being the go-to creature that would notify you if anyone was in range which was somewhat succeeded by the very overlooked tech sensor, a very customizable structure that you can change to a variety of field distances, what it detects, what it doesn't detect, even going as far as turning particular structures on, meaning you can have a base with all the turrets powered down, but when tripped, all turrets would power it on, as well of course as notifying you in your lug if anyone has tripped it. But now I believe this is the new successor, the remote camera security system. And it could be a real big thing for map dominance. If you're one of those mega tribes and you've got bases built all across a map, and then when your log starts filling with red, simply switch to your camera security system to see which base is getting hit. And this is going to be a big thing for Ark. So why didn't we get one of those beautiful Fuego images last night? So far the devs have been very regular on dropping new teaser images every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. And we didn't get one last night, but Sad's Law, I bet it's going to be the security system that I've now covered and I can't recover it when they release that new picture. But you may have noticed for PC and Xbox there was a recent patch that was simply titled to fix an exploit. And I assume PlayStation will be getting it soon. It's a wild guess, but what's happened in my opinion is a well-known ARC YouTuber who dedicates his videos to different exploits, put something out there for the devs to react quickly to, postponing everything else to ensure this exploit was fixed. Now, it's an interesting subject to talk about. Should exploit videos be put on YouTube? Certainly not bashing those that do. If it gets them views, I can see why they do it. I did it myself with exploits that have been shared to me by other YouTubers. But what I've since learned is in exposing these on YouTube, it certainly has an adverse effect on the dev team to react to that and get it done because of how popular that exploit has become. And whilst yes, there is a way to report straight to Wildcard, certainly not many people do that. In a game as complicated and competitive as Ark, 
Anybody will use any exploit advantage to get the upper hand. It's only natural, especially when the odds are stacked against you. Some of these exploiters out there are very inventive and creative, and I can see why they would want to share that with the world. Why wouldn't you? Well, as it happens, Wildcard did used to offer bounties in the past to the amount of $100, simply by emailing info at Studio Wildcard. But it's not clear if they still do that now with their new book report system. So if you do wildcard, my advice is to get marketing that. Let people know it's still a thing. And hopefully we won't be put in this situation again. So a few questions were asked on my videos recently, two of which I felt the need to dig out and research for an answer. So the first one from Mad Zombie, do you know why we can't create our own server on Genesis or Crystal Isles with a second PS4? Now it's been some time so I had to refresh my memory on this. But when Genesis Part 1 dropped we found that player dedicated servers by which you host the server on a separate console wasn't available. The devs did address this at the time with a brief update that they were getting them to a release state. And once that's ready we'll be getting a patch out to both platforms as soon as possible. Well one month went by and we found that they brought the dedicated servers to Xbox One X. But no other platform. Not the Xbox One, not the PS4, PS4 Pro or the PS5. And I can confirm firsthand you can't host a dedicated server on PS5 for Genesis Part 1 or Crystal Isles. Now as far as a statement from the devs go, I can't find anything since this tweet. With my guess being the devs were going to introduce this to the PS5 with the enhancement upgrade. I talked about the enhancement upgrade a few weeks ago, I'll drop a link in the description on where I believe this is, but it's definitely going to be post Genesis Part 2. It certainly seems to be in the works and I don't think has gone away just yet, but the devs certainly need to address this, especially in the case of dedicated servers, because if we haven't got them for Genesis Part 1, you can guarantee we are not going to get dedicated servers for Genesis Part 2, at least for all platforms apart from Xbox One X. And I'm sorry Xbox One and PS4, you are definitely not getting these anytime soon. If it's only come to Xbox One X, I'm guaranteeing you are not going to see these on the previous gen consoles. Maybe the PS4 Pro, but I'm doubting that too. So yes, if you want to know if we are ever going to get dedicated servers on PS5, I think we will with the enhancement upgrade. And when that drops, I don't know, but I did a video, link in the description. And the second question gave to me was that Arc Gen Part 1 is on the Game Pass. Does anyone know if we get Gen 2 on the Game Pass as well? And from what I've researched, I can't see the Genesis Season Pass within the Game Pass. Of course, Arc Survival Evolved Explorers Edition is on the Xbox Game Pass, whereby you get the base game, Scorched Earth, Aberration and Extinction. But the Genesis Season Pass isn't included, or at least not free. It's certainly offered at a small discount. And perhaps that's what's being referenced. But what I can confirm is that Arc Genesis Part 1, the solo map, isn't available to be sold separately. So I'm assuming you got this through the Genesis Season Pass, in which case you will get two included. If you've got the Season Pass, Genesis Part 2 will be included for you to play. And it drops next week. I hope you've enjoyed this. What do you think of the remote camera security system? What do you think of the dedicated server issue? Drop a comment below, let me know. My name's Ross Clark. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, peace out.